Day 6 of recording, and I have updated the switch. Yee, hello everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough. So, I have a couple of theories as to what may very well trigger Greenskeeper Man to go over to the old next area, and that is, for one thing, to go nap in my bed, because I haven't napped in the character's bed in ages. So I thought, hmm... Maybe that'll, that'll set things in motion there. And the other thing is to look around just like the general area of the place and maybe something will trigger that will have him walk over in in like a little cutscene or something like that. We shall see. Story mode. Go, 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 go. We are in. Yeah. <laughs> So, yeah, I'm still in there, of course, so... Now, what I'm planning on doing here... Is just going, going right on out... And then having a little look-see around the main overworld place... First, I guess, before taking a nap, too. So, we're gonna go, we're gonna take a look-see. Cheeky big peek, right, right, yes, yes. Looks like a snowstorm, I shouldn't enter without a plan... Hmm... Okay, so nothing's going on there, so let's go back to the house and try for my nap. Ah, uh, no, not again. <laughs> so I guess I can't even nap, okay. Uh, well, uh, maybe there's something going to happen over at Lurker Valley, or maybe I didn't do any everything that I needed back at Lurker Valley. I'm pretty sure I cleared out the side quests over at uh, Well Worn Grove, so... Well, here's you. How's it going there? Time for my encore! I've got a lot to live up to with this one, but I think the chorus came together quite well. I'm calling this one Porky Pines. Yeah, this is the same guy that we got that, remember from the other place that made up his own course at Well Worn Grove? Ready to try out the course? Sure, I'll do your challenge. I call this one Welcome to Lurker Valley or Terror Tar. <laughs> So, we're getting all over the poop for this. That should be okay, though, I think. Since it's the kitty links of sorts, so there shouldn't be too long of shots, at least in theory. Ooh, almost bounced in. That would have been pretty cool, but alas, alas. As usual, I'm going to be going for uh, two shots. This hole was too short. <laughs> so he goes all the way over there. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna be going for two shots, if at all possible, on, on uh, most holes. Just for the whole idea of, like, I guess you could technically say, like, two putts. Oh, it, did, it just stuck in the bunker. It didn't skip through it. Well, that might be a problem. Maybe. We'll see. <laughs> just go a little bit to the righty. Ooh, oh, that might be too much. Well, let's see. Oh, yeah. Well, uh, I guess I could putt that. <laughs> that was a that was a pretty touchy one. Uh, I'm just gonna get an idea of how hard I want to hit it here. Because remember, I'm in rough, so I gotta hit it further than I would normally. Yeah, that'll do. <laughs> Watch out for the little lurkers. You mean the fish, or do you mean those eyeballs? I don't know. Oh, I should actually go. Yeah, increase the height. Probably. And go back a little bit. Uh, ooh, that's gonna... Well, it might not matter if it hits the tree that badly. We'll see, I guess. Because it's gonna come out that side anyway, but... I'm just trying to look for something to get it to land on the green, because that's a tiny green, and... They're not really giving me many options, or at least many good options. But I guess that's a whole part of the challenge. Okay. Eee! Ooh, that was good, that was good. I had a good feel on that one. Oh yeah! Okay. I call this one Coast to Coast. Mm, I, I guess sort of. It's more like Lake to Coast if you ask me, but details. <laughs> uh, impact mode. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to even be able to get the ball to stop here. It'll probably get stuck in the tar before it'll stop. Uh! <laughs> just as I thought. Uh, yeah, I just didn't know how that was going to a stop otherwise, because I think it just ran over into the other tire on the opposite side of the green. Uh, wait, is that touching the pin? Yeah, it's touching the pin. I need to go back a little bit to 
take into account that rollout, not the pin hits. E not doing too shabby though, I think. So far. <laughs> I hope that's the last hole though. Yeah, it was! I was gonna say, because I have to do two shots on something else, that'd be kinda... Kinda touch and go. Wow, I'm so proud of this course. I think I'll head to the beach next. But I won't be hanging to end. I'm going to create something real special over there. And that course is not open for us yet, but I was able to complete this side quest. At least... I don't think that course is open yet. Maybe it's open now and that's where we're supposed to go next? Anyway, I should probably straighten some of this stuff out here. Essentially pure. Uh, oh, oh! Reduce. I can't reduce. Oh man. Oh man. Well. Oh man. <laughs> At least I'll just increase my accuracy. We're okay. It doesn't matter if I have a bit of a slice there. It's just as long as I have something that's usable, basically. I'll take a look-see around ye old pitch and putt place and see if there are any new people really quick. It's not that large of an area or anything like that. What am I stuck on there? Ah! <laughs> mm, looks like everything is clear. Mm-hmm. 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 Uh-huh. Not even a side quest over there. Mm -hmm. uh oh Hopefully this isn't all the stuff that I'm going to be doing this part. <laughs> <laughs> because I, maybe I won't be able to figure out how to get that guy over to ye old disc golf area, but we'll see. Hopefully I didn't come across some sort of game ending glitch. That's like my worst fear ever in terms of a blind walkthrough. But I, I guess I didn't play that much of the game, you know, if I had to replay stuff and stuff in the beginning or whatnot to actually get past that, but I doubt it really. I think they would catch most of those things in most games. But we'll see. We'll see, I guess. Chances are... We just gotta do something to get them over there. Maybe I need to go back over to Wellworn's Clubhouse and chat with the uh, the peeps there and whatnot. Mm, yeah, not seeing any peeps here either. And this is where the, like the, the early area is where they tended to hang out and stuff like that. It's like, what, like, they didn't hang out in the middle of the hole. That's where people hit their balls. That's a, it's a fool's game to stand over there. Balls go right in your eyeball. And then this happens. This happens. You lose your eye, it's laid on the ground, and then some sort of people who are trying to revive the dead into undead, they come along, they're looking for your eyeballs, and... Yeah, they get their eyeball, and you just don't want that to happen. You just gotta... The prevention is better than the cure. <laughs> okay, so nothing's here. At least as far as I can tell. So... I guess I could try checking around here again. Like, maybe I'll press... The, mash the A button randomly around this area. Where, wherever it doesn't say enter. <laughs> oh no, it said enter! Well, maybe I'll meet with me now. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe I should go back over to the beach area. Just really quick. Yeah. Nope, 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 nope. This is it. Bermuda Islas. Yeah, this is where I figured that that guy would be building another... I should say, making another mock golf course. But nope. Nope, still not open. So, I... I guess I'll wander around well-worn. And see if there's anything at the clubhouse. Because that's usually where the main guys hang out, like in terms of story progression and stuff like that. There's only so much ball data can do for you. Yes, that is true. Sometimes you gotta be practical and head out on the course. How are you going with the course? It's okay, I guess. <laughs> Don't go causing trouble. Uh, still. Still. Hmm, I wonder what happened to Pink, actually. I don't need help. I can cook the pies myself. Can I get more pies? No, I cannot get more pies. So what the poop is the scoop for getting that guy to move? <laughs> Maybe I just didn't go to the right area? Uh, let's go to a pro shop really quick here. Because the pro shop might have uh, something new. Which of these drivers hits the longest? It's all really up to the player. Want to play around? No, not right now. <laughs> not right now. Once you once you get that car fixed up and that tournament is on, we are golden. Hmm. 
meet you at Cheeky Beak Peak. Hmm, I was there, you seen I was there. It looks like I ran out of side quests, so I guess I'll just run around aimlessly at this point. I don't have enough to buy this putter, do I? Oh, I do have enough to buy that putter. Hmm. I guess I could try it. <laughs> See how it is next time I play around. So, obviously we should give that an little equippy. There we go. I presume I just bend the shots like I do with disc golf. I just control it with the analog stick and whatnot. But we'll see when we actually do something. Like, uh, let's try this here. Go to the whirly putter. And I'll just hit a ball over here. And just try and curve it with the... It doesn't look like I'm able to bend it. Well, how do you control the whirly putter then? Do I actually do like with the hit? Oh, you changed the hit points! You're actually allowed to do that now. That's interesting. <laughs> so, does that mean. Yeah, I overhit that, I know. So, what if I went back over to the other putter? I'm not allowed to do that then, right? Just, just out of curiosity. Well-worn putter. Drop a ball. And... Hit point mode. Yeah, I'm not, allow I'm not allowed to change a hit point here. So that's what the uh, whirly putter does. So that's definitely an upgrade to the putter for whenever you want to bend it around any sort of like rough or something like that. So that is definitely staying in my inventory. I think I bought everything at every shop at this point, too. Come to think of it. And I know I can't make that uh, shot at the driving range now. So I'll continue wandering, keep looking around, see how things go. Oh, what? I went in a different area and... Did you see that? I entered a different area. Okay. Um, cool. <laughs> I guess this wasn't the same place, but yet it was the same place. I, I don't know. Yeah, I'll show you what I did here really quick. I was just kind of like wandering just and looking around here, and I hit enter over here. But apparently it's different than entering over here. See, like there's an A enter there, but it disappears there, but you can press A to enter here. I guess that was me entering this building area. Okay, progress! <laughs> Uh, this is probably gonna be like a chipping. That look! You look like a go-getter. Would that be right? No. Okay, I guess I misjudged you. Yes, I am a go-getter. Yes, I would like to do some shot making. Go-getters chip with their five iron. So it's a little pitch and run classic here. It's tempting to play the wedge every time. However, if you use your five iron, you can make a run at the hole. Onlookers will surely be impressed. Make sure you hold ZR and ZL for approach shots. Uh, I don't know how much this is going to have a rollout. I'm going to assume that's going to be pretty good right there. Let's try it. I don't know the green speed. But we'll see. Mm, no, it's pretty nice. Yeah, I guess I'll just split the distance. Uh, uh, <laughs> so I'll split the distance again. Way back over there. Oh, that was a little bit on the weak sides. Uh, oh, it's actually decent. I'm getting my two points for making it in there. <laughs> actually, in the middle hole. Probably get more if I actually make it in the hole. Oh, that might not have been a good idea. Oh, it was perfect, actually. <laughs> that will do. That will do. And yeah, that, get, that definitely gave me three, because I got seven out of nine. I was getting twos before. It would have been two, four, six, but instead it's two, four, seven. Try that. I suppose. Oh, nailed it! I got success for sure, but how high can I get my score? That is the question. Uh, split the distance ish. <laughs> ish. Oh, wait, I. Oh, I released the LR. Well, might still work out. Oh, that worked out just fine. <laughs> I mean, excuse me, LZ, not LR. It's. L, Z, and R, Z. I'm getting kind of... I'm. It's like a tongue twister of sorts in my own mind. <laughs> so, I, so I got it flopped around. Anyway. Mm, should be okay, I guess. Oh, that was actually pretty hot. Oh. Well, I, I mean, I won anyway, but still. 
here. A little bit for the slope too. And, oh, that's too much. Well, maybe not. Ah, we'll see. Do, 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 do. Well, very good. Every time I say it's wrong, it, it goes just fine. <laughs> Beautiful. See? Being a go-getter pays off every time. Heck yeah! Woo! <laughs> Is that all? <laughs> Getting go-getter begins and ends with chipping of the five iron. I'd say, honestly, it depends more on the situation and personal preference, but you, uh, you keep thinking that, girl. <laughs> um... Can I jump off the edge? Probably not. Nah, I didn't think so. <laughs> Those are some thick clouds, though. Greetings. I'm just here for a round with my caddy. You have a caddy? No. Uh, well, I mean, yes. <laughs> remember, remember the greenskeeper? Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, sounds rad. Caddies are rad. Mm, I, I know I'm supposed to talk to her for a... Oh, there you are. You did, I did not see you pass me, but okay. It's going according to plan so far. Nobody knows I'm a greenkeeper. Are you sure you brought several real barrels? <laughs> yes, well, take a look over there. Mm -hmm. I see a lot of heath. That could be bad for balls. Cheeky beak birds. They seem to be in a furor at the moment. Cheeky beak birds are known to steal balls, but they ain't usually this brazen about it. You think they are under control by uh, the gruesome twosome trying to revive the undead? Maybe. It's creating the perfect distraction! Da -da -da. You head inside and book our round. I may be able to fool these people, but I'm known to the marshal. <laughs> okay. I'll see what else you have to say, too. Come get me once you pay for the round. Uh, Alright, so what do you have to say now, anyway? We're just learning how to shape our shots here. You press X or something. Shaping shots is rad. Interested? It's pretty rad. No, I'm not interested. Ah, oh, dang it! No new dialogue. Okay, yes, yes, yes. I am interested. Very interested. A button, yes. This will be the last thing I'll do this part. Okay, so you have to try to hit around this tree. If you can land on the green, you'll get a point. If you also land on the, on the marker, that would be pretty rad. So you can have an extra point for that. That's worth two points. Fine, you can have two. <laughs> okay, so, oops. No, no, hit point mode. There we go. I want to go... Zippy zoopy there. Something. Uh, what am I? I'm trying to hit around the tree, but it doesn't. Uh, do I not have enough curve to my. Like, maybe I straightened my shot too much in my stats. Uh, that might be my own undoing. <laughs> uh, maybe I should just go back to center here and see what I can do with this. Because I might be better off. Actually, just oh, hold on, hold on. Ah, okay, we got something. Go back a little bit, and a little bit more actually. Oh, I think I'm touching the tree. Okay, we're gonna try that. Best of luck to me. <laughs> oh, that hit the tree. Well, uh, oh, it worked. Okay, awesome. Wait, that gave me three points, not two. Don't question it. <laughs> um, I don't think I need to curve this one at all. Just as long as I get it to land on the green, it should roll out to the hole. Will I uh, be deducted points because I didn't curve my ball? Oh, it didn't make it, wow. Well, that's that's a different sort of issue, but I guess I will not be deducted points anyway. Um, wait, no, not precision mode, hit point mode. Yeah, there we go. Something like that, and go back. Something like there. Try that. And we're off! I hope. <laughs> stay, 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 stay. Oh, Arceus, no. Oh! Well, as long as I get six points, we'll be okay. Oh, that's aiming your right at it. Uh, do I need to adjust for the tree, maybe? Yeah, it does look like it'll hit the tree. How about I go higher, just to get over the tree? And then that'll make my ball stop faster. How's that sound? Or, that didn't look like it even came close to the tree, but then again, that was just perspective. Oh! Nailed it! Um, okay, so then I gotta do something fancy with, don't I? Let's try and go up and that away. You know, higher and. Oh, 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 we might have something. You might have something. 
Let's try that. It looks promising with the wind and the slope and everything like that. Oh, is it gonna roll? It didn't roll as much as I thought. But I'm still, I still got the wind, but you know, I'm just trying to maximize what I can get here. Okay, I'll still try that, I guess. With maybe a three wood, that's not a good idea, but out of the rough normally, but we'll see how it turns out. This tree just slows it down. Perfect. Just perfect. <laughs> uh, it looks pretty... Uh, hold on, hold on. Let's go a little bit back. Because of the wind. Let's try that. It's, it's like the wind and the slope are clashing there. One's going in one direction, the other's going the other. Based on... It's like it, it's like it crosses over each other and it kind of maybe blanks its... I mean, uh, cuts each other out. That was pretty rad. Side quest completed. Heck yeah. And with that, I'm going to end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part when we get back on track. Because we, well, finally found that there's a whole other area. <laughs> I guess enter doesn't mean enter the same place, let me tell you.